Today is the 29th of March, uh, and we are halfway through the con conference on CBA. Uh, we've had a day and a half, or just over two days, and we're going to have another day and a half left. Uh, today we had a variety of uh, thematic discussions on linking national and local, on methodologies and monitoring and evaluation and tools, on economics, on agriculture, uh, and importantly on communicating, because one of the biggest issues is communicating the science to communities and also communica communicating the issues that are important to communities to scientists and policymakers. These are not easy tasks because there are differences in interest, differences in cultures. Uh, most scientists are not very good at communicating to vulnerable communities and poor communities and that's one of the biggest challenges in the community-based adaptation arena. And we made some very good progress on that some very good examples from the Red Crescent and Red Cross who have developed some very nice games that are very easy to understand that people can play and get the message across. And we looked at things like radio and other kinds of media to get messages across to vulnerable communities and people in a way that doesn't mean giving them something to read or a PowerPoint presentation which simply does not work for them. That was one of the most important things that we achieved today. We also had a, an evening of presentations from uh, a bunch of young people that the British Council in Bangladesh has been promoting. They called them climate champions. Uh, they were given this title, about a dozen of them, about a year ago through a competition, a national competition, which they won. Each of them put forward a proposal on what they wanted to do, and then they were given some uh, small amount of resources to do it. And they all did some very interesting work. Some did videos, some did theatres. Uh, they had an opportunity to share what they were doing uh, with the delegates that came to the CBA conference. And it was a, a nice break to talk to young people about an issue that they were clearly passionate about. And they were very interested in listening to the people at the conference. In fact, they've been having a parallel event at the British Council with the young people in parallel to our conference and every day we've been sending a number of our international participants to them and they all come back uh, totally enthused and say all the kids ask them lots and lots of questions so it's been quite a nice synergy between the work that the British Council is doing with the young people here in Bangladesh and the conference that we've been having with lots of international participants. So we've tried to build synergies across different activities that might be useful uh, as part of the conference as well, although that wasn't part of the official conference. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be lo looking at a number of other issues uh, and then day after tomorrow we'll have the concluding session where we have Dr. Arke Pachari, the chair of the IPCC coming and hopefully we'll be able to feed in our outcomes to the IPCC fifth assessment report.